decided to make a video here of I'm trying to adapt the pull start onto my uh, 12 horse Briggs in my tractor. I always end up not having a battery for it, so I want to get a pull start going for it. Um, I've been messing with some little Honda 5.5 horse side shaft motors lately, and I had a Chinese one that blew up. And I was looking at the recoil and figured that the bolt pattern was pretty close. I took a look to see if it would bolt right onto the fan shroud here, but it wouldn't. So I made a spacer. It's made out of, actually it's like probably 3 eighths of an inch thick or somewhere around there. It's a, it's a cutting board. So I cut a ring out of the cutting board. It's about seven and a half inches on the outside and six on the inside, or no, five and a half on the inside of this of this plastic ring here. And what I did was I countersunk some tapered flathead screws into the plastic, which would bolt to the fan shroud. And then I drilled another set of holes to match the Honda style recoil. I just drilled them into this plastic and threaded the bolts here right into this plastic adapter basically. And then once you have that done, all you gotta do is when you drill the holes for the bolts, just make sure you leave enough material so the bolts will have some plastic to thread into and then you can thread the bolts right into the plastic. I did that with the counter sunk tapered screws too. I just drilled the hole a little bit smaller than the actual bolt, counter sunk it, and then I threaded the screw here right into the plastic so it was tight, and then the rest of the bolt came through the fan shroud, and then I just put nuts on there. That way the screws themselves are part of the plastic adapter. And again, these recoil bolts just bolt right into this adapter as well and then all you have to do is take off the stock screen holder thing um, piece of advice don't try to get your flywheel nut off by jamming something up against the coil that's what I tried I tried using a flat spot on here and wedging something through to stop the flywheel from moving. I was trying to use a ratchet on this nut and it ended up moving the coil out. So then I had to loosen this bolt, which broke, and then I tried to drill it and the drill bit went off center and I ended up having to bore it out with a die grinder and then I JB welded this bolt into here to use it as a stud. So I'll let that set up. I just did that a couple hours ago. So basically all you do then is put your fan back on. This will get bolted down again. And then the Honda, or actually it's a, a Chinese clone starter cup, you take that. The center hole has to be enlarged slightly. I just use a step drill bit that I had. And then there's a little, there was a re recent, or a raised tab right here, this little area here. I ground that down almost flush so it'll still bite onto the flywheel a little bit. And then all you gotta do is put your nut back on, torque it down. I just use an impact gun. And that's basically it for the recoil. So I got my fan shroud with the recoil. It'll set right down on top of here. And with this spacer, it actually will, it'll hit the, it'll hit the starter cup in the right spot with the spacer. I, I actually needed this spacer in there to get the right spacing and everything. So it actually worked out really good. It'll just come down to if this little five horse recoil will turn this motor over. So I'm gonna get this button back up. I'll put the coil back on tomorrow and then I'll get another video and see if it works. Okay, bye.